can't leave his tent. You mean I just get to stay in and sleep and eat meals and read? Yes, sir. Take me. I'm yours. I surrender. And I'll fight to the death any chance to set me free. Proceed in a calm and orderly fashion to the exchange table. <laughs> Where are the light bulbs? No light bulbs. Also, no bandages, no gel foam, no sutures, and no heating oil. No kidding. Easy. I simply cannot eat the same food every day. Fish, liver, day after day. I've eaten a river of liver and an ocean of fish. Are we going to stand for this? We're going to let them do this to us? No, I say, no! We're not going to eat this drink anymore! We want something else! We want something else! We want something else! What do you smell? Bourbon. Oh, rats. I never should have had that before the vodka. You'd risk your life for a, a ketchup on rye? With butter and lettuce. Pierce, I shall do my rounds. In 30 or 40 minutes. Ciao. I don't care who it is. He can't have visitors. First time we ever got the best table in the house. Rosie! It's spooky. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. Benedicat, Bos omnipotens Deus. The Major's version of what happened was, to say the least, fascinating. It was, to say the most, perjury. And, of course, there was some truth to what he said. It was October 11th, and we were in Korea. Other than that... Uh... Frank, what are you doing out there? He's adapted Henry Ford's principles to medicine. He sends the wounded in on an assembly line, and we're supposed to attach the headlights. Is that a bomb? Uh, no, Frank. Someone's playing their World War II album. You can't have one. Beg your pardon? This unit has everything it's supposed to have. You're not entitled to an incubator. That would be a, a, a luxury. Luxury? We're not asking for a jukebox or, an, or a pizza oven. Oh, those I can let you have. I have nothing to fear. The superiority of the Winchester genes has rendered me immune. So here he is now, Charles Emerson Winchester, the pucked. Well, well. Well, I'm afraid this is what you call your command decision. It's lonely at the top time. Strictly something for your leader. Oh, golly. Whatever you people decide is fine with me. Hotel's already full. What do we do now? Remove the help. As of now, the officers club, the mess tent, the swamp, the post ops, two, three, and four, in that order. And we thought this was the off season. Magadar, 4077 May. Clark said she wanted an incubator, no dice. Yeah, but you've got three. That's right. If I give one away, I'll only have two. What's wrong with two? Two is not as good as three. Night to night seven, full house, you hustler. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Gin. Gin it is. Hey, wait a minute. The blues are worth five or ten thousand dollars. For the last time, the whites are worth five thousand dollars, the blues are worth ten thousand dollars, the reds are worth twenty-five thousand. Huh? 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 I got it! Ha! <laughs> last one, right in her nose. All fifteen. Look, look. Very nice, Frank. By the way, what happens if the bomb doesn't go off? Then the whites are worth twenty-five cents, the blues are worth fifty cents, and the reds are worth a dollar. What do you mean I lose? Look, I got a full house. All you got is a lousy pair of checkers. Plus the fact that my ten of hearts has your bishop ready to convert. Is he following the rules? What rules? Ah, now it makes sense. But the only thing they do know for sure is that 10 to 20 percent of the people who get it are going to die. You want a calm, objective opinion? I'm worried sick. Surgeon General's office caused that figure significant. But there was only something we could stitch or rebuild. My choice would be appalling. This is agony. All right. I'm trying to hang on. He's got a 50-50 chance. I feel real weird. Now stay with it. I even heard a doctor bought it. Margaret, call it! Radar, put a mask on. We're running low. That's the last unit of B-positive doctors. We're all out, sir. What is happening to you? There's a dozen kids outside that can be saved. That's, uh, 300,000 men, folks. What do they expect me to do? She told me to tell you that, uh, he didn't make it. 
I thought I got to them in time. Wherever they come from, they'll never run out. We win some, we lose some. What is happening to you? Time of death. There were no survivors. No! Most of them did. You should be proud. He's starting to breathe on his own. His pulse is stronger. I'm getting a pulse. Steady beat and it's not fibrillating. Hey, oh, you did it! Congratulations, honey. You hear that? He's breathing. He did it. <laughs> Hawkeye Pierce is alive and well and living at Battalion Aid. Here's to our dear friends, Hawkeye and Margaret, who, thank God, are still with us. Body and spirit intact. Yeah! <laughs> Hanukkah, be quiet. You're coming right through this man's heart. Boy, things I gotta go through to organize a simple party. No, a picnic. What a wonderful idea. We'll have a picnic. We're gonna have a picnic. A picnic! You two want a picnic? Yeah. Fine. You serve it. We better order more food. Someone has actually ordered us a genuine spring day. Autumn in New England. July 4th! And they are married. Oh. Will I be home in time for Thanksgiving? Merry Christmas. Listen, fella, I've actually seen Santa Claus. I sat on his lap once, and I'm here to tell you, you ain't him. Here's to the new year. May she be a damn sight better than the old one. And may we all be home before she's over. If you ain't where you are, you're no place. Dona, no peace. It would be hard to call what we've been through fun, but I'm sure glad we went through it together. Let us hope that neither they nor any others will ever have to assemble for such a purpose again. Good night. <laughs>